What you're about to read is totally true. Once, I went out on my scooter to cruise the local yard sales. Being a video game aficionado, I, I had my eyes peeled for collectible Nintendo wares that parents might be throwing out. Nothing really caught my eye, that is, until I noticed one house across the street. This house also appeared to be having a yard sale, but there was only one table out on the front yard with what looked like only a few items for sale and there was a creepy old man behind the table. If there hadn't been other people within shouting distance, I wouldn't have even considered approaching this guy. Uh, do you have any Nintendo games? I sure, sure do. Pokemon. Black? It was labeled Pokemon, and it was in a black cartridge, but this obviously wasn't the Pokemon Black that just recently came out. My first thought was that I had stumbled upon some kind of rare bootleg version of Pokemon, so I asked the man how much for it. Uh, how much for it? Oh, that little thing? You can has it for free. Uh, thanks. Goodbye, Ben! Uh, my name is Stanley. Back at home, I fired up the old Game Boy and plugged in my new bounty. Everything seemed to be normal for a while. That is, until I ran across the infamous ghost Pokemon of the Lavender Tower. Uh, somehow, I managed to catch it. I thought this was pretty strange, since you can't do that in the normal version of the game. What was even weirder was that somehow this ghost Pokemon has a special move called Curse, which could kill other Pokemon, and their trainers. I wrote this off as a bug, or a weird design choice that they scrapped later, but then the game started spewing random garble onto the game screen, and when it wasn't doing that, it appeared to be sending me personal messages, despite the fact I hadn't entered my real name into the game. And then the messages turned into threats. Uh, getting freaked out, I, I turned the Game Boy off, uh, decided that I must have been really tired, and went to sleep. All through the night, I couldn't stop thinking about the game. I had resolved to get rid of it the next day. That's when things really started going wrong. That's a little odd. Uh, uh hello? Finish the game. Uh, who is this? This is your ghost Pokemon. Finish the game, Stanley. I think you have the wrong number. I must kill again. You don't want me killing you next, do you? I knew what I had to do. If I was ever to have a life again, I had to finish what I'd begun. I had to finish the game. The further into the game I got, the stranger it became. The music got more and more distorted. There were fewer and fewer characters to talk to. What few characters showed up, my ghost Pokemon would kill without my commanding it to, and it kept threatening me. I knew it was just a game, but I was seriously getting freaked out at this point. F finally, after what felt like a lifetime, I finished the game. I tried turning the Game Boy off, but the game wouldn't stop playing. 
Against all my seasoned video game judgment, I tried pulling the cartridge out, but it wouldn't come out. I tried taking the batteries out, still nothing. The game just kept going, but the music just kept playing. I tried everything I could think of to destroy the Game Boy. Nothing! Then I remembered, Game Boys are indestructible. I even tried selling it on eBay, but the Game Boy just came back a few days later. What's worse is I started to have really tripped out dreams about all the Pokemon and trainers I had killed coming to find me and kill me too. At my wit's end, I decided to return to the old man's house. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me who lives here? Why? Nobody's lived here for 20 years, not since Crazy Old Ben. Uh, crazy Old Ben? Yep, Crazy Old Ben. It's been 20 years. He was on the roof, playing his Game Boy in a lightning storm when he died. Then he drowned. They never found the body. Oh well. <sighs> nice PSP. I threw my possessed Game Boy through one of the windows of the house in the hopes that it would return to the vile nether dimension from which it was spawned. I didn't bother taking any screenshots or videos before I got rid of it, but you can take my word for it that this totally actually happened. Pokemon Black still haunts my nightmares. I'm typing this up for the world to see, on the off chance that if any of you find this accursed cartridge, you won't repeat my mistake. Say, uh, how much for the Game Boy cartridge? Uh, I don't think you can pass it for free. And...